At 158, it's Joe Suspan of Iowa State and Mike McGivern of Iowa. Zuspan leads 2-0 on a takedown. McGivern starts on top. Mike McGivern. It's a battle of two Iowa, former Iowa high school wrestlers. Doug, that's uh, when Joe Zuspan made, took uh, Mike McGivern to the mat. He used a crossbody ride. Now Mike McGivern's using that on, on Joe. Crossbody ride with a leg grapevine. And often that move is called anymore. And it often becomes a, a stalemate situation, and that's what happened there. They used to say the crossbody ride's a real good place to stall in. The way the rules are interpreted now, Doug, I don't know if we really give the man that's a good leg wrestler the opportunity to show what he can do with it. Again, you see the leg grapevine, but Zuspan has his arm in there. And this will be a stalemate, too. 216 left. Zuspan on the bottom, McGivern on the top. They'll go with the whistle. Zuspan sits out. Like to roll and come out with something. McGivern working hard on the half, Nelson. Two minutes. Trying to keep uh, Zuspan from doing what he did, stand up. Now McGivern brings him back to the mat again. These Iowa boys ride well. They get it behind, they've hung on well. A minute 44. Zuspan leads two to nothing, but stalemate. as that sta stalemate's call, there are, it's about a minute and a half left. You see the Iowa coaches. Dan Gable on the left, Gary Kirtlemeyer on the right. Zuspan again sits out, goes for the head, has to spin on it, but McGivern stays with it. Now Zuspan rolls and comes out on top. He has uh, McGivern in a potentially difficult situation. McGivern is holding on and decides to let go and come out without any uh, near fall problems. Four to nothing. Zuspan on the second of two moves, as it often happens, comes out on top. A minute and seven seconds left in the second period. He has McGivern flattened out. And I would like to get an arm. Mike McGivern trailing four to nothing. This is the first time an Iowa wrestler has been behind this far in this meet so far. The Hawks lead 15 to nothing. Hawks, the defending national champions, have come out and won the first five matches against Iowa State. Now, potentially dangerous, potentially dangerous hold. And so Zuspan is told to let it up. We'll start again in the center. McGivern wanted to stand up. Zuspan grabbed the ankle. You'll have to come up off that pretty quick. And that's one way to do it. Goes into the leg grapevine with the far ankle. Now wants to work on the upper body. Zuspan on top at the end of the period. We go into the third period now. Neither man has riding time, although Zuspan uh, has an advantage of about 33 seconds, about half a minute. Harold Nichols looking for his team's first, first victory here in this 158-pound match. Zuspan against McGivern. Zuspan starts on top, manages to block McGivern's switch attempt. McGivern looking for the combination. Zuspan using a tight waist, goes to the ankle in the back. And now stalling is called on Zuspan for going to that, really going to the ankle, I think, for too long. You're supposed to go up to the upper body and try to pin the man, according to the rules. It's difficult to pin holding onto an ankle. Yep. <laughs> he must move up here again, too. 
Zussman leading two, uh, four to nothing. He now has uh, more than a minute of riding time. McGivern so far has not been able to get away from it. Zussman, a very strong rider. Now the left arm, deep waist, and the elbow crunch on that near side. Likes to use a head lever, too. Put his head down in the arm right there and use it as a bar, as a lever. Less than two minutes left in the, in the, meet, in the match. Now stalling is called again on Zuspan, and that's a point for McGivern. Here's the replay of uh, McGivern trying to come out this report from with, Columbus, Ohio. with uh, Ohio State, 64, the control. Iowa, 69. Now it's four to one. Zuspan will have to work a little harder, according Iowa's to Keith Young. Hit six straight free throws in the last minute to ice the Iowa victory. Zuspan with a tight waist against McGivern. He Out leads four to one, and he's going to have to come up again. He's going to have to come up. He uses the ankle to break his man down. But he has to turn, he has to make something out of it. And again, he's going to be called for a point for, for stalling. Point for McGivern. And Zuspan is shaking his head. He doesn't know what. Uh, what that means, four to two. And it's cut considerably now, four to two. Zuspan has riding time, but McGivern, giving a good shot now. And Zuspan's gonna let him up. Harold Nichols told him to let him up. Four to three. He just figures that Zuspan can take him down. A minute and four seconds left. One minute. Four to three with a riding time advantage. Zuspan against McGivern. And a stalemate. Stalemate. Iowa leads. The Hawks lead 15 to nothing here. They've won the first five matches by decision. And en route, beat a couple of pretty fair Iowa State wrestlers. Shot at a single. Zuspan countering it. 32 seconds left. It's a takedown would be a tie. A takedown would be a draw here. Zuspan has to fight his way out of this if he can hope to, to hold on to the victory. He's out of bounds. Two. 16 seconds left, Doug. 15 seconds left. Now Zuspan has to come out of here with 15 seconds. Uh, McGivern leads on the scoreboard five to four. Here's that single leg by Mike McGivern. He very nearly had the takedown at that point. He has to bring the bring uh, Joe down to the mat, bring his supporting we, points to the mat. We get back to live action leg, here. Kick through. Now we have. 16 point, seconds to left to go in live action here. If Zuspan gets away, he wins on riding time. But McGivern is holding on. 10 seconds. Zuspan trying to go. McGivern has the legs in. It's going to be a draw. And once again, as it happened at uh, Ames, as it happened at Ames, Mike McGivern takes down an Iowa State Cyclone in the last seconds to get a draw.